Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you said two good mornings, but it's a uh, double portion. Also a double portion <laughs> there. It said it was trying to connect. Thank Hopefully you, Lord, for the blood. On now. Looks like it. Over the connection. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So today is day number six. Welcome, everybody. Day six. Hallelujah. Just say hello. Put your name. Well, you got your name, but just say, tell us where you're from. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And please remember now to share. Right now on Facebook, just share now. Yeah. If you want to take this link, copy the link. So it gives you an option to copy the link. Put it on your WhatsApps. Send it out now. This message is very, very important uh, for the believers at this time. Mm. Uh, we're dealing with today, hallelujah, with overcoming fear. And we're looking at uh, provision. He's the provider, part two. Mm. There's going to be quite a few parts in this. So we're really going to focus on that. Uh, Jean or Janae. Ulrich, hallelujah, Shane, hallelujah, Shane, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Renette, hallelujah, yeah, George, yes, hallelujah, Ina, praise the Lord, welcome, welcome, Christelle, good hallelujah, morning, morning. <laughs> Christelle, That's pancakes good. for breakfast, hallelujah, <laughs> <laughs> praise the Lord, we're still coming for our pancakes, yeah, worry. thank you, Lord, <laughs> hallelujah, we bless the Lord today, he's, he's awesome, hallelujah, mm -hmm. we just, we just, I'm just going to straighten this thing a bit, it's a bit crooked, there we go, Hopefully it's a bit straighter. I'm sitting in the sun a bit more. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, so uh, yes, hallelujah. Good morning. morning. <laughs> Dominic and Rian, hallelujah from Moinoy. We bless you guys. Hallelujah. Mm. And uh, hopefully our, our our beloved brethren from uh, Saudi will be joining us as <laughs> well. For yeah, Saudi and wow. UK. We we got we got brethren from all over the world. So it's we just welcome you. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah, there we go. Mary from the USA. Oh, hallelujah. Wonderful. Welcome. Good morning. Oh, it's evening there, I suppose. No, it's morning. It's well, morning. no, actually, yeah, it's yeah. actually very early in the morning. You Either very early or very late. <laughs> well, depends what you like, two o'clock in the yeah. morning. All right, so awesome. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lorraine from Cape Town. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. EFE Starden. Conrad, hallelujah. Good Bless morning. you. Saudi, there we go. There we go. Rachel, Livenberg. Oh, you from must Saudi. be from South Africa. <laughs> hallelujah. Hiding out in Saudi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And there's Sabila. Hallelujah. Good morning. <laughs> Oh, it's God is so good. good. Yeah, so this is this is the day that the Lord has made. We just want to remind you that Corona is not. The Lord Amen. says corona, corona is not, is not. Not for you, not for your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not for you. It's not for our cities. It's not for the nations. This is a, a this is a demonic plan of Satan, and we got to re rebuke it, and we got to resist it. Hallelujah. Yanin. Hallelujah. Morning. Good Ruina. Morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we we are we the Lord has instructed us to come against it. Okay. Mm. So we've got it. We can only come against something, and we can only remove mountains when we have faith. So the number mm. one thing the Lord is working on us right now is your faith. Yeah. And faith comes by hearing. So you need to really be in the Word of God day and night. Be in the Word of God. Build up your faith. Yeah. You build up your faith. This is the fight of faith, and yeah. we need to we need to st stay strong in the Word of God. The Word of mm. God is our foundation. Hallelujah. So when you Amen. stay in the word, your faith will grow. And then the Lord wants you to release your faith through, through your mouth. So you get your faith through meditation in the word yeah. and, 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 and meditating in the word, studying the word, meditating the word, speaking the word. And then you make your declarations every single day. So today is day number six. And this is the, the sixth day of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. 21 days of victory. That's and it. I declare over <laughs> each one of you are victorious warriors. Yes. How's it, Francois? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we stand on Psalm 91. Yes, yes, we stand on. And remember, somebody asked again this morning, <laughs> said, why? Why 1010? Why 10 past 10 every day? Well, it's John 1010 says <laughs> that, that the thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. But, and, and, but I've come to give you life okay. and life more abundantly. So there's abundant life available for you today. Mm. Right now, there's abundant life. We don't have to be afraid of viruses. Mm. We don't have to be afraid of the plan of the devil. We don't have to be afraid of what the devil's got planned. We we. The only fear that is healthy is the fear of the Lord. And today, so we're going to be dealing with the issue of overcoming fear. And we're going to be dealing with those month-end demons. Mm. You know the month-end demons, <laughs> as Miriam calls them? That's what I call them. Why do you call them month-end demons? Because it's month-end torment, and I've seen it often on yeah. you. So She's on seen me suffer over over yeah. the last 10 years. We, we, just, were, we were just calculating how many month-end demons we've overcome. We've overcome over 120 month-ends. We've yeah. gone through 120 uh, month ends and and it's been extremely and I'm, the month ends are much yeah. easier for me now because I've learned how to overcome month ends because month end means you got to your debit orders go through you got to pay mm. your rent you got to pay your expenses and um, and 
kind of during the month, you, yeah. you're having a conversation or the devil's having a conversation with you, mm. which we're not supposed to be having. And, and it's basically saying you're not going to have enough for mm. the end of the month. Mm. And then uh, when mm. it gets to the end of the month and there, yeah, then you don't have enough money for the end of the month. And then then it's basically a tremendous amount of torment. <laughs> so fear, where there's fear, there's torment. So yeah. the Lord wants to deliver you from fear. Mm. He wants to bring you into faith. He wants to bring you into supernatural divine health. He wants yeah. to bring you into supernatural divine provision which is in the word of God yep. we're talking about divine provision God God is the God is the provider and yep. he wants to provide for you and every one of us right now in Jesus name hallelujah and he's already provided for you so that's the good news that's I just news. I just want Miriam to start I see Francois feels fed us that is good. Hallelujah. I feel fed that's so awesome <laughs> I really, I really enjoy you know that's such an awesome thing because it's like I feel feathers means I don't care I don't it's care. Like I don't care yeah. about what the devil says. I'm not. Good uh, morning, Brazil. Uh, hallelujah, oh, Brazil. <laughs> uh, welcome, Brazil, Erica. Hallelujah from Brazil. Please share this. Hopefully, we get more people from Brazil joining us. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Just share this on your Facebook. Hallelujah, How's it, Isabel. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus from Whitbank. Hallelujah. Thank you, so Jesus. Awesome. So we just welcome you again. So Miriam, over to you. Over to me. Mm. I want to actually begin with a scripture. And then I'll explain why I'm reading that scripture after that. If that's okay. Um, I'm reading from Hebrews 11, from 30. By faith they overcame is the heading. So that's good. We need faith. <laughs> um, I don't know if I should read the whole thing, hey? It's, it's a lot. But anyway, I'll just start. It says, by faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were encircled for seven days. By faith the harlot Rahab did not perish with sure. those who did not believe when yep. she had received the spies with peace. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, and also of David and Samuel and the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, yeah. and stopped the mouths of lions, sure. which the Lord highlighted for me this morning, um, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became vali val valiant, valiant. valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens, and women received their dead race to life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trials or mockings and scourgings, yes, and of chains and imprisonment. And they were stoned, they were sawn in two, they were tempted, were slain with the sword. Sure. They wandered about in sheepskin and goatskins, sure, thank you, thank being destitute, you. afflicted, tormented, sure. of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains, in dens and mm. caves of the earth. And all these, having obtained a good testimony through mm. faith, did not receive the promise. Sure. God having provided something better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. And then Hebrews 12, verse 1, therefore, and the therefore is the reason I read chapter 11, because therefore is therefore a reason, <laughs> as Warren always says. <laughs> yeah, that's what is it. the therefore? The therefore, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great, great a cloud of witnesses, and then it goes into, let us lay aside every sure. weight and the sin, which is speaking again of that surrender that we've been speaking of. But I want to stop there. Um, last night I was dreaming and it was a different kind of dream. It was more <laughs> like sure. an experience. Um, sure. and I'm still trying, I'm still praying and I'm still seeking the Lord on what is he trying to give me through that. But what was very clear is, um, Daniel, the, the, the I call it the original Daniel, the Daniel from the word, um, I experienced him in my dream and I kept sure. hearing a voice saying, Daniel, awake, Daniel, awake. And it went over and over and over until I actually woke up sure. from that voice. Sure. But in my dream, I experienced um, how close, this is going to sound really weird, but how close the cloud of witnesses is around us. And I could see and experience how they are watching us running this race with their breath like kind of like they they are anticipating the time that we are living in is the time that they were prophesying about um and there's something so tangible about their presence that i could experience in my dream and even now as i'm talking about it um god's presence is so strong 
it's it's time to wake up. If sure. if um if the Daniel from the Word sure. speaks to me in a dream and says, "Wake up," it for me it has to do with an awakening of the sure. time and the season that we are living in. Yes. Um, I, I recently read the book Lioness Arising and Lisa Bavia talks there about um, being dangerously awake sure. and that's what I want to be that's what mm. that's that's how aware and awake I want to be um, with the time and the season that we are living in so that that that's what was happening in my sleep awake Daniel awake he saw some of what we are going to live mm. through he saw it he prophesied it, and so obviously I've been reading through the book of Daniel this morning. I'm just seeking the Lord, uh, but now just before we went live, mm. I I I I saw the the um, Hebrews 11:33. Stop the mouth of lions. That is Daniel's testimony. Sure. They walked in those things. They walked in a in a level of faith. And how much more do we need sure. now <laughs> to have this faith? Um, but yeah, we need to lay aside because because we are surrounded with the cloud of witnesses. We need to lay mm. aside the stuff, surrender the yes. stuff, yes. the the month and demons and all. <laughs> surrender them because sure. we're running a race and we can't yes. run a race yes. when we are yes. laden and heavy and weary yes. from carrying all the all the things around. And then my favorite part out of Hebrews 12 there, it says in verse 2, looking unto Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We look and so at you, we look Lord. at him look and at him we now. behold his face and we, we are changed from glory right now, to glory we when we look Jesus. at him and we, we see him. You, he is the author Hallelujah. and the finisher of our faith. He, what he has yes, started in us, he will bring to completion. He's the, he's the beginning you, and the end. Thank you, Lord. Um, and so because of that, we endure and we run our race. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So I just I just wanted Miriam to share that because she's going to get more, and the Lord just opened a door for her to go in there. The Lord, maybe you want to tell them that the Lord did say that He's going to send the 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 the, the cloud of witnesses, and they've got different keys for different people at different times. Yeah. So that's an experience I had last year, about October, November. Um, let me get the scripture with that. That was um, Isaiah thirty. Verse 15. Yeah. Um, so while, while Miriam's getting that scripture, the important thing here is that it says we are surrounded. We yeah. on earth are surrounded by a great cloud of witness. That means when yeah. we are seated in heavenly places. So we are seated with him in heavenly places. So even though we're on earth, we're in the heavenly places. We are surrounded by the cloud of witnesses. And they, they have messages for us. Yeah. They have they have messages They're for us. So and the close. Lord sends angels to bring the message from them. And it's the Lord will give you dreams. And they you will start to tap into messages. Their books will start to open. Like yeah. The, yeah. the Lord will start speaking to you yeah. via Daniel, but through the book of Daniel. Yeah. So so the, the Lord <clears throat> will lead you suddenly to Ezekiel. Ezekiel and he's starting to yeah. release those scrolls. And those, those scrolls are being unsealed. And mm. God's uns un unsealing those scrolls so that you can go into the mysteries. And God's going to start. To and he is revealing the mysteries now to his servants, the prophets, all across the earth. And no single prophet has got all the revelation. Only Jesus, the, the prophet, has got all the revelation. And um, and so he's going to release those words to different to different prophets. And he's going to release keys. And he's going to release the keys now from the book of Daniel. And he's going to release it to different prophets. So guys, he's raising up his prophets all across the earth. And he's raising up his people to tap in. And because there are different anointings, there are different mantles, there are different scrolls, there are different keys that God is releasing. So that we as a body of the body of Messiah, Christ Jesus, we can be victorious in this time. We can operate as the glorious church. Without spot or wrinkle, we can. Oops, oops my laptop. That was <laughs> Brenda, the laptop. Um, that we can uh, we can operate in victory continuously in victory, and we are not going to be worrying about what the devil says or what the devil's doing, um, because God has prayed. For, uh, Jesus paid the price for us for your victory, so you must know that. So, um, yeah, I just want to say good morning to Jed. Jed, hallelujah. How's it, Jed? Hallelujah. And to me from Pretoria, we bless you. And, and we're just excited to have all you guys join us. And I just pray right now for the spirit of revelation to be upon you. And I thank you, Lord, that you touch each one in their rooms, Lord, yeah. in their houses right now. I thank you, Lord, that your angels that encamp around them, Father, send angels to each one that they will be able to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. And what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to them, because the Lord, the key word here is positioning. God is positioning you at this time in your body to position 
meaning in the spiritual realm and together with your brothers. You need to be connecting. God's got clusters, little clusters that you're going to be part of, little clusters. You know, I know that we're part of a bigger, you could be part of a bigger church, but these clusters of people, strategic people that you need to be part of and that are part of your, 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 your that circle that is going to take you forward. Okay, it could be five people, it could be ten people. God is bringing these people into these little clusters and these teams, what we call teams, uh, all across the earth. And you need to discern. And you need to discern. Some of you need to, how's it, Neil? I see, Neil's joined us now um, from Parkers. So you need to discern wh who you need to connect with and who you need to separate from because there are people that you need to connect with have keys for your destiny. They have yeah. keys for your destiny and then you've got keys for each other, mutual keys. And if you don't walk with the, uh, the right people, you're not going to come into your destiny. Yeah. And, and you have to be vitally connected. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to find that word that I, I, I can't find it. It's... It's in my journal from last year. But anyway, so the Lord highlighted um, Isaiah 30, yes. verse 15. I must try and think how I got there again. Okay, so this was a, a, um, a vision I'd had um, where I had, a, I had a key in my hand and... Yes. Sure, the smoke is coming. <laughs> Now they're having a fire next door, yeah. <laughs> it's it's not the glory, it's the, it's uh, the neighbors. <laughs> fire's coming, hallelujah. No, that's we got funny. <laughs> <laughs> you see the glories around. If you see something, it's 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 the neighbors burning something. Anyway, uh, so yeah. in that vision, I had a <laughs> I had a key in my hand, um, and the Lord had said to me, sure. I, I really want to find the the actual vision, but anyway. I was seeking the Lord on overcoming Jezebel. This is something that, that this has been a journey with the Lord that I've been seeking him on for years. And he's given me some revelation and understanding the, um, and during this encounter, the Lord said to me, um, the, the prophets of old understand their, um, learn from the, understand their victories and learn from their pitfalls. So if we look at, for example, um, Isaiah, he went through fantastic, um, battle on the mountain with um, with old Jezebel but then afterwards there was a pitfall and actually the Lord ended up taking him home and anyway the Lord gave me Isaiah 30 15 and it says in returning and rest you shall be saved and in quietness and confidence will be your strength and during this vision these prophets of old were taken from their key and putting it in my hand and added it to my key so there was keys and understanding that they have that they were adding to the understanding that 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 the Lord has given me in my sure. hand okay, that's that it. we need to apply and use especially mm. right now um, and each time they put that key in my hand um, and there was different different ones um, different people they every time they said that same scripture in returning and rest you will be saved and quietness yeah. and confidence will be your strength so each time they added to the key they repeated that scripture whether that was there was different prophets that were doing that um yeah so, so the lord is going to release what i was saying is that the lord is releasing messages from the word through the prophets through the books in the bible yeah specific messages that he, he need he wants to get to you yeah he gets to miriam he gets to me and so we share these revelations and we are built up um, into the head of Christ, the head, which is Christ, by which every joint, joint supplies. You see the yeah. joint here. There's a joint. There's a joint. Mm. The joint is the relationship, and that's why the mm. devil's number one tactic is to break the relationship with, between you and the Lord, mm. and between you and your wife, and between you and those key people connected to you. He wants to break the joints because the joint, the relationship supplies what yeah. you need. You understand that? So if you're not vitally connected to the right people and you are uh, inaccurately, yeah. it's the word is accurately connected and inaccurately, if you inaccurately connected to the wrong people, mm -hmm. you will not be able to fulfill your destiny. Okay. Yeah. So you need to, at this time, in, this, in, in the rest of the 21 days now, yeah. we've got like 15 days left. You, mm. you need to be able to lay everything down, lay down your church, lay down everywhere you go and say, Lord, where do I need to connect? With whom do I need to connect? Yeah. Who are these people that I need to be close with? Mm. And who are the ones that I yeah. need to separate from? Because <clears throat> the, the word of God in Ephesians talks about that the body gro is growing up into the head, which is Christ. But 
the joint supply, the relationship supply. So if you're in a group and we have an awesome time every Sunday and we've got a group of, you say, like eight people yeah. coming together and they are part of our Joburg team, but everyone there is getting revelation and, and I'm learning from them. They're learning mm. from me and we're learning from Miriam and we're all learning from one another. But mm. if I'm not there and they're not there, I wouldn't get the revelation. Yeah. And if, if they've if got the wrong person sitting in my lounge and it's a, they're supposed to be sitting in someone else's lounge, mm. I'm, I'm going to get the signals messed up, mixed up. So it's if so critical that you connect accurately yeah. right in this time because your future depends on it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Your, yeah. the victory depends on you connecting accurately with the correct people. And, yeah. you, and this is not something that you choose yourself. This is not, yeah. oh, I like so-and-so. I like this ministry. I think I take a bit of that anointing over there. Mm -mm. I think, I, you know, you want to, <laughs> I'm not going to name any ministries, but I'm saying you, you cannot just, mm -mm. in the army of God and in the normal army, you don't just choose where you're going to position yourself. Oh, I think, uh, I, I think I like the paravats. I think I like... You know, I like the dog unit. I like dogs. So I'm mm. going to go with the dogs. <laughs> you don't do that. that way, you, yeah. This is the Lord's army. He yeah. assigns you to your position. He assigns yeah. you to a church. He assigns you to that team. He assigns you to a, even a city. You can't yeah. even move. You yeah. can't even say, we don't live in Joe because uh, we think it's fantastic. Yeah. Mm -mm. We're not living in Joe because we think it's the best <laughs> place in Africa Earth. because she, I think it's Exactly. Fantastic. Miriam came from Holland. I mean, yeah. like, you know, yeah. in 2007, God sent her from Holland because yeah. God sent her here. So to yeah. be truly an apostolic generation and, and a church, we mm. need to be yeah. sent. You know, you can, you need to live exactly yeah. where God tells you. You need to connect with exactly exactly the yeah. people that God and when you connect and live accurately then yeah. the life and a lot of people are wondering what is God's will and, and you, you you won't find out until you do yeah. what he told you last time the last time he told you to do something it could have been 2010 and you yeah. di didn't listen go and do it first go yeah. back to that instruction and do yeah. it and then That's you'll good. give you light yeah. for the next thing it's very important that you, you we keep people are running around looking for prophecies yeah. and they're looking for another word and a fresh word mm. and then they like take um, they like to interpret that word into their own paradigm yeah. misinterpret it and guess what it still doesn't work yeah. the only thing there's only one thing that works <clears throat> yeah. and it's what jesus said deny yourself take up your cross and follow me daily yeah. deny means to surrender basically yeah. that's the word because in the bible you won't really find the word surrender but the word deny yourself is surrender so he says, aside, yeah. lay aside your life, deny yourself, deny fellowship mm -hmm. with yourself and say, Lord, I'm going to follow you now. Yeah. This is the key. This is Discipleship 101. We cover this in our discipleship course in mm -hmm. the School of Ministry. Yeah. So if you want to join the School of Ministry, you're welcome. It's free. It's online. You can go there. There's, you know, it's, it's, it's free. And, 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 and the Lord got me to do that. Like, you know, he started to, to show, show me that like over 17 years ago that I need to do that so that we can actually have mm -hmm. a free... Uh, um, free Bible school for everyone that everyone can go to school of ministry and we've got uh, so much material there for you yeah. but it's in in in, a, in, a, in a order so you can go through that but it's yeah. important that you learn to be a disciple mm. and and the church is supposed to be discipling but they're not they haven't been discipling because they don't understand that the the, the basics of discipleship which mm. means um, deny yourself yeah. don't do your own will not my will but God's will be done. So we have so, to surrender yeah. our own wills, yeah. our own plans, the churches, the ministries, everything like it, the denominations you're involved with. And say, Lord, I surrender everything right yeah. now. And Lord, clean slate, you start yeah. to write on my heart. You start to write. That's I right. want to see yeah. your eternal plan for my life. Yeah. Did you, you're going to share something? Yeah. No, Renette was asking. It's Isaiah 30 verse 15. 30 verse 15, yes. Yeah. So, so ultimately, um, that is something that is so important that you be actually connected. So yeah. I want to just start yeah. sharing now on, on really what he, he was um, just putting on my heart to share with you today. And I'm going to just go to Luke 21. If you can turn to Luke 21, it's good to get, turn in your Bibles. It is good even to have a physical Bible. I'm not saying that you can't learn off your, your electronic one, but it's like the Lord's leading me to go back to my, my original Bible, this Bible I've had for like, um, I think nearly 30, nearly, yeah, basically nearly 35 years. Okay. But then with that, it's also, um, for those of you who have children, it's good for your children to see you in the actual physical Bible. Yeah. So that they can grow and and, and not just on your on your, on your phone Bible, but mm. actually on a physical Otherwise Bible. Otherwise, they think you might be playing but, uh, on Facebook. They need to see you actually with the word. Yeah, yeah. And, and so also it's very good because uh, I mean I've got a lot of notes in here. I've taken notes over the years. So, yeah. but it's it's just kind of different. I'm not saying that you can't get revelation from an electronic Bible. I've got an electronic Bible on my laptop which mm. I study with. Okay, but 
Just turn in your Bible, if you can right now, but some of you are watching on your phones, but just turn in your Bible, but you need to read it yourself. Something happens when you read it, then if I just read it to you. Yeah. And verse 25 says, And there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars and on the earth, distress of nations, okay, sure. with perplexity. Now, perplexity means people are being perplexed. They, they don't understand what's going on, okay, the sea and the waters roaring, that the, the sea talks about the nations, doesn't mean mm. just literally the sea, although that obviously can mean tsunamis and things like that, tidal waves. Mm -hmm. But it's talking about nations roaring. Mm. At the moment, the nations are roaring. Yeah, okay, there's yeah. a roar coming out of the nations. It's not a godly roar. The Lord is telling the body of Christ that we need to roar yeah. and we need to roar in worship. So and we need to roar the word of God out. So listen to what he says here. Men's hearts failing them sure. from fear and the expectation of okay of the things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven will be shaken okay there it is okay so that's what i, I want to focus on verse 26 men's hearts failing them and so what is happening right now in the church yeah. every one of us is being tested and your heart will either overcome or it will fail and the key test is here he says fear yeah. Fear is the test. This is the yeah. end time stronghold. It's fear. This whole thing of coronavirus works on fear. Yeah. That is what the media operate on. They make money off of fear. The fear so is what, what's infectious. The fear is the actual <laughs> virus. And so what happens is you when you feed this thing with fear, I watched an interesting video. This guy was talking about this thing, this demonic force that's behind corona actually eats the fear and it's feeding off the fear and That's we and, 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 and so the, the so fear is a sin and so when we are now yeah. uh sinning uh by fearing okay whether you're fearing month end or you can't pay your accounts you're you're in sin if you're in fear yeah, so so what happens is is men's hearts will fail them because of fear yeah. why because of the expectation of those things which are coming what is the expectation the word expectation basically means that you're expecting something you're expecting what? You're expecting to get sick. You're expecting for the, 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 the country to collapse. You're expecting that you're not going to get paid this month. You're expecting. So the word fear, there's a good acronym and it says uh, false evidence appearing real. So if you use an acronym, say F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. So if you take that now and you put it together with the expectation. Yeah. So what is expectation? It's basically, so the enemy now brings false evidence okay mm. which is the corona mm. virus mm. okay COVID 19 which and god and god says mm. it's not but everyone is <laughs> every time you say that it offends the person that's in fear the person in fear says what do you mean it's not yeah. don't you know how serious it is and they'll send you more videos proving to you how many people are dying and, and that you must really be worried about this thing and then the lord says again it's not so yeah. i send them another uh, uh i send them another um sticker you know, on my WhatsApp, is that people are sending you stuff. I keep mm. sending them. It's not. God says it's not. Yeah. Speak to the mountain, not about the mountain. I send them another sticker. And if you need these stickers, uh, just send a message to our WhatsApp. And we will. Uh, Dominic will send you these stickers. You mm. can send them on because there's a message there. It's like basically people keep sending me stuff. I say, I'll send back. I'll yeah. send back. I say, you know, other, if they you know, if they send me real rubbish, I just block them anyway. So um, <laughs> because I don't have time to yeah. be watching nonsense. Mm -hmm. And um, so at the end of the day, I don't want to be arguing with anybody. Some people want to debate it's like okay I, i'm not going to debate this thing there's, yeah. there's no debate because god has spoken god says it's not it's not what it's not your problem it's not the real problem the real problem yeah. is behind it okay so the thing that's coming behind it is uh, something we need to address as well in south africa i'm talking now to south africans it has been uh, basically there's a whole campaign with ten thousand people coming around to houses now yeah. to basically test to see whether you've got uh coronavirus yeah. Okay, so they're going to check for symptoms or anything like that. And it's like they're talking about sophisticated um, mobile, technology. mobile technology. Yeah. So this is very dangerous. So we see need to check out exactly what they're going to do. So if you've got any information, uh, I mean direct information yeah. of what they're going to be doing, because I'm saying, okay, how they're going to check. So I know they can check your temperature from a distance, which yeah. is fine. But please do not yeah. let anyone... Do not any, let anyone touch you and start injecting things in you. Because if they say they're going to track you, the question is, how do you think they're going to track you? That's what they say in the pamphlet. It's, it's a mobile that, tracking. Um, it's a mobile tracking device that yeah. they're going to put in you. So you need to be very, very careful. So what I'm saying is this is just an alert. We don't mm. have any facts on, on how they're going to do it. But I'm concerned because I know the technology is available to inject the tracking devices yeah. in your body. But effectively, yeah. which is the mark of the beast. 
So you don't want to be taking the mark of the beast right now. Uh, well, you never want to take the mark of the beast, but you don't want to be taking it by accident. And mm. suddenly you realize that they've injected yeah. um, and they're just saying, no, they were testing for, uh, for, for coronavirus. Meanwhile, they were not just testing. They were wanting to monitor you. Mm. And so they've deployed 10,000 people in South Africa to go and test and then track people electronically through the cell towers. And that was put out uh, yesterday or the yesterday. day before. Yeah, yesterday. Okay, so yeah. I saw Miriam saw that was I, I, I was investigating. I, I was thinking it's 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 that's fake, fake news. news. CNN yeah. fake news. But okay, so so please, mm -hmm. um, if you find out anything, please WhatsApp, send us a message on mm -hmm. our Facebook page, send us a, 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 a direct message on our yeah. Facebook page. If, if you've got any information, yeah. I'm talking about real hard evidence of basically they starting to inject people or they starting to. We need the hard evidence. So I've already determined in my mind if they come to this house, I'm just going to say, look, I'm busy can't see you now if they try and fall, i say look I, i'm going to i'm going to video them. if anyone comes near you just say I, i'm sure you don't mind i'm going to be videoing everything just to say and, and basically if they're trying to force you just say excuse me i want to just get a hold of my lawyer i'm serious because we need to know what legally you know I don't believe anyone's allowed to now just suddenly force injections in your arm mm -hmm. and start injecting with stuff. Yeah. You don't even know what it is. Um, and never mind the, the criminals that are now going from house to house saying we've come here to, to yeah. test you for, 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 for COVID-19. So at the end of the day, I'm just putting out a warning here. I'm not trying to get you in fear, but I'm just saying, Be I, cautious. if they come here, I refuse. Yeah. I'm going to refuse. Yeah. So you must make your decisions. Okay, yeah. right now. So we also, I also said to someone here, say, Lord, hide us. Yeah. Hide us under your blood. Lord, yeah. let them not even come down my street but Remember we need to that place of his wing yes it was a concealing and, uh, place yeah let him That's let him hide us so. but we need to warn other christians that are yeah. not even they, they they're not even aware yeah. uh, what the potential and it's going it's going so quickly it is going yeah, yeah. so quickly so i'm just interested to find out the facts about how they're going to be tracking people with uh, with this with this virus uh, yeah. electronically through the like they said the cell tower the cell, yeah. cell phone network and unless they're going to put something on your body in your body do not accept anything, not in, no electronics inside not your touch. body. Yeah. No, that, they mustn't touch you at all. Not so if they want to do it from a distance, it's fine. I say, no, I'm like going to talk to <laughs> <laughs> from a distance. You deal, I'm not going to, I'm not yeah. going to allow them to touch me yeah. uh, or my yeah. family. So, mm. so this is suddenly, we've gone now into phase but two the enemy is really in South Africa. trying to push things and accelerate things. So we yeah. ask the Lord to hide us, yeah. but you need to also alert people on this thing because we need yeah. to get the facts. Be, so I'm not, get, I'm just telling you, Please, but you, you guys can know different people and you can be alerted. So if you find out facts on this thing, yeah. send it to us so we can Let put out a, yeah. an urgent alert and say, this is what they're doing. I don't know what they're going to be doing, but I'm very careful if people are coming house to house. And then they're going to help you and uh, mm. they're going to check your symptoms. And uh, I know I went to a company the other day and they take like a, a, a scanner and they just hold it towards your forehead. Interesting. You know, forehead, scan your forehead for your... <laughs> For your temperatures, which is fine. I don't have a problem. Someone taking, not touching me, and think I say, but don't don't start trying to put things in my body. I don't care what symptoms. Hallelujah. I just yeah. said, I'm not interested. You mm -hmm. you can go go to the neighbors. You're not coming into this house. So um, that's what that's I've already made that decision. But yeah. you need to think it through. What are yeah. you going to do if they come to your house to, to tomorrow or the next week? And they are doing that in South Africa right now. Yeah. Uh, we know that it's happened already in Denmark that they've yeah. already made it a law that when the vaccine comes by law, you have to you, you yeah. have to take it. Otherwise, they can jail you or fine you. Yeah. All right. So in my mind, if I was in Denmark, I, w I would just I would just ask God to protect me or whatever. But I, I, I would I would I would not bow to that thing. I would not take the, the vaccine at all. And the Lord has warned us not to take the vaccine. And no, vaccines, um, no, covenants, no, with no, no covenants with health because that has got aborted fetus cells yeah. in it. It is extremely dangerous. And guess what? Who have they tested this on? The, in other words, you yeah. are the rat. Yeah. They don't even have time to test on the rat. So you, you need yeah. at least two, three years to test vaccines. So how are they going to, are they going to break all the protocols? Okay. So vaccines, yeah. people are praying for vaccines. Please stop praying for vaccines. We got the vaccine. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's the blood, blood of Jesus. Of, it's the blood of Jesus. All right. Yeah. You know that Jesus took all our sicknesses and diseases. He took yeah. it upon him. That means he suffered those sicknesses. He suffered it. It went through his body. And so basically, he's got the antidote in the blood. The antidote is the the vaccine is the blood of Jesus. That's right. You understand? So yeah. now we've got the, we'd say, look, I've got the vaccine. I've been vaccinated. 
Hallelujah. That's what I normally say. I'm fully up to date. So if someone says back, I'm back. I'm fully <laughs> vaccinated. Everything. Oh, oh yes, I've got it. I've got it all. Thank Saturated. you so much. Uh, uh, yeah, it's been approved by my mm. doctor. Yes, doctor, 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 what doctor. The great Jesus, physician. the greatest doctor of all. You got to understand. Yeah. You got to think three yeah. things through because you got to be quick. Because at the end of the day, the enemy is going to trap people that are ignorant. And yeah. God says, my people perish. So lack of knowledge. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to touch on that. That wasn't really what I wanted to share, but I just felt that I need to just alert you to this thing so please mm. let's okay so you must be watching and if you got afraid by what i said now if you got some fear of about what i've just said and the information i've just given you let's just surrender that to the lord so lord we just want to surrender mm. this this house visitation by the government mm. to to do whatever we yeah. we really don't know what they what physically going to do. Mm. We put it in the blood. We bind it to the cross. Yes. And I say, Corona is not. And really? you're not coming in my house. You're not coming here to test me. In Jesus' name, I thank you that you hide my street. You hide really? my community. Yes. They won't even get here. I thank you mm -hmm. that we are invisible in the realm of the Spirit now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you remove the <laughs> veil from people's eyes. Like yeah. Isabel say, saying, yeah, that they will be open to receive the Word of God now. Amen. In Jesus' yes. name. This is the greatest time of harvest. Right now, yeah. we thank you that people will be saved. The eyes will be opened and they will understand it's not the, the the future is now it is right here the, the end times is here we're in the end times right now in jesus name Amen. thank you lord yes. we are delivered from fear okay Amen. so we don't want to go into any um conspiracy theories no theories we must know this is what's actually these are the facts yeah. okay so let's move on all right so so the lord is the, the lord is, is saying that in these days that the fear will actually cause men's hearts to fail them. so the heart failure means that they're actually going to physically die of heart attacks and it also means that when you have heart failure in the spirit your heart fails it means that your spirit is being starved from the blood and you, and you basically you, you you're unable to even consume the word of god because you're so full of fear so be, and this fear that we are talking about here in this scripture here into uh, Luke 21 20, uh, 26 this fear is yet to be released the fear that we're receiving here is just the starters the curtain raiser right yeah. now the fear that we're going to it's going to be released is going to be far greater when the judgments of God yeah. upon the earth the judgments of God haven't really been released on the earth they've mm -hmm. only been released on the church but the judgments of God are coming in like in the book of Revelation serious judgment and then and plagues and everything and these are plagues that are now on the earth right now these are the plagues of Babylon but yeah. the Lord says Babylon has fallen yeah. so we must understand where we are we are about to see babylon the system come down and when the system comes down you're going to prosper and so god has given we're in that revelation of all those visions you must go onto our website the uh, on the wealth transfer you must go yeah. there and, and fatherslove.co.za forward slash kbc that's that's the kingdom business corporation go on there and look at those seven prophecies part one to seven on on the, the shaking and the wealth transfer yeah. go and read it carefully to we're see where yeah. we're in it right now we're okay the economies were collapsing but the transfer yeah. of wealth happened okay so okay so i want to remain focused because the, the the first step today that i wanted to focus on is is to help you to get delivered from fear to yeah. overcome fear yeah. so that's the first scripture okay mm -hmm. so um then then the, the other scripture that i want to read to you um is in Matthew, is in Matthew 20, uh, uh, sorry, uh, where is that? Oh, goodness, I cut it out here. Um, let's just see if it's uh, referenced here. 26, yeah, Matthew 24. Okay, so you, we, can, we can just go to Matthew 24. Now, this is, this is the, we should all know this chapter now. Um, if you go to Matthew 24. Um, and we're going to read from verse um, verse four, okay? Mm -hmm. And we need to we need to really dig into this thing of fear. He says, "Yeah." And Jesus answered and said to them, "Okay." Was they saying, "What is the sign of your coming?" And then he says, he answers them and says, "Take heed that no one deceives you. No one. Who is the great deceiver? Satan. Yeah. Okay." Satan is the deceiver. Yeah. So he will deceive you directly through demonic mm -hmm. influence and he will deceive you through people. So mm -hmm. there are people that are deceived. They will try and deceive you. Some of the people that are deceived don't, obviously don't even know they're deceived. They think they're actually helping you. And some of them intentionally want to deceive you. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so, so in other words, you've got 10,000 health, health officials could come around to your house completely deceived and not knowing what they're doing that they're part of a, so, a big yeah. plot against the country. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't, 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 don't get angry with them. 
the, the fault, yeah. it's not their fault. You just got to be wise and you got to be very careful what yeah. you say and what you do. But he says here, do not, do not allow, okay, take it that no one deceives you. So we, he's warning that there will be deception. Okay, and what deception will there be? He says, for many will come in my name. So he's talking Christians, all right, my name, saying that I am the Christ and, and will deceive many. Yeah. So they, 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 they are not just saying that they are the Christ. They are saying that Jesus is the Christ and they will deceive mm -hmm. many. So there are many so-called Christians yeah. out there that will deceive people. Okay, mm. so for many will come in my name. Okay, so they will come in my name. And, and you will, okay, then he goes on, he says, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars yeah. and, and the trouble coming, nation will rise against nation. I'm moving here quickly. And many will be, be offended. Yeah, this is it, verse 10. And many will be offended. Yeah. Okay, I want to ask you, are you being offended? Are you sitting with offense over a brother or sister today? Are you said, if you're sitting with offense, you're falling into this trap. And this is what Jesus was talking about. He says, take heed that no one deceive you. If you're offended, you're deceived. If I'm offended with Miriam, I'm yeah. deceived. Because the Lord said that I need to forgive her. And if I don't forgive her, he doesn't forgive me. And if I'm not forgiven, I've got a problem. Mm. I've got a problem because basically if I'm not forgiven, I've got a problem with eternity. I've got a problem. And so we don't want to see anyone, any Christian go to hell. But if you are actually not forgiving, you will, if you don't forgive, God won't forgive you. And if you're not forgiven, you will not go to heaven. Yeah. You understand? That word offended mm -hmm. is um, scandalizo, which means to cause to fall away. Sure. And the, the, the word talks about a great falling away. I so think it's got to the, do with offense. The, the, the falling away is when we become offended. Become offended Look, and another, yeah. another one is that people are offended with the Lord. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Lord didn't oh, pay yeah. the rent, or oh, the Lord yeah. didn't heal my children, or the, the Lord did this, blaming yeah. the Lord. So you can be offended with the Lord, or yeah. you're offended with a brother or sister, or you're offended with a person. The Lord says we must forgive everyone. Yeah. We've been forgiven. Quick we must forgive. forgive. We must quick, be quick, quick to forgive. So there is no, so there he says they will be offended. Yeah. Okay. And will betray one another. Ooh. Yeah. So how do you, first step, step of a betrayal is someone's offended with you. They're going to end up, they could end up betraying you. Okay. That means they try and destroy you. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then they will hate one another. So we're seeing that in the church. So basically yeah. what's going to happen is now suddenly if you're not vaccinated, vac you're not going to get vaccine. Uh, the vaccine and, 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 and it's a jail sentence. You could have your neighbor. You could have a friend. You could even have a brother in the Lord or your mother telling the, the government, look, my son didn't get the vaccine. Think that she's doing yeah. the, the government service and anyway, putting you in yeah. jail. If the Bible says that's so going to happen. Yeah. You must understand. Yeah. But what are we supposed to do with people that get us arrested or put us and, and get us persecuted? We're supposed to forgive them yeah. and love them and bless them because we know where we're going. My, my inheritance is not on earth. It's in heaven. Hallelujah. So um, I, I don't have a problem. When we go to the other side, it's glorious. Mm. So in other words, we might be getting there a lot quicker. Mm. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's home. <laughs> it's home. As long as we're pleasing the Lord, okay? And whether we're pleasing here, we're pleasing there. We mm. just want to please the Lord. Okay, but we must not bow to this thing. We must not no. bow to offense. We must not bow to anger. We must not bow to hatred. Okay, do you understand? These are the traps. People are worrying about, okay, this deception. Yes, it, yeah, it's telling us what the deception is. You're going to be offended. Mm. Okay. Mm. It says, yeah, and, mm. and, 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 and then it says, yeah, um, betray one another. And it also says in verse 9, it says there, and, and then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. You, who? The church. Yeah. So a lot of churches now are watering happening. down the gospel because they don't want to be hated. They don't want to talk, call sin, sin. So what happens is they don't want the persecution. But he says it's, it's promised here. Here it is. He says they will hate you. Yeah. So if they don't hate you, then you're something wrong. Yeah. You're not a good witness. Hallelujah. So we know you need to actually uh, be, we must be actually asking God for persecution because he mm. said it's, it's a blessing. It is a blessing. So you've got to put it on your fridge and say, thank you, it Lord, for the blessing. persecution. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. So, so he's saying here, um, then they will deliver you to, up to tribulation, kill you, and you'll be hated for my name's sake. Verse 12 says here, and so 11 says, then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. So you've got false prophets rising. We've seen them now all over the place, all over these false prophets here. And the main thing with a false prophet, you'll always see it's about money. Money, money, money. Okay. And false. Okay. And then because of lawlessness, listen to this. He has the key. Verse 12. And because, because lawlessness will abound. Okay. What is lawlessness? He has lawlessness. The love of many will grow cold. Lawlessness is when we start to just do whatever we want. And we are, lawlessness means we don't walk in love. There's one law. The law of love. 
Okay, and within the law of love, there are other laws like the law of faith. Now, these are spiritual laws, the highest laws in the in the in the, basically we can say in the universe of all creation is the law of love. Yeah. Okay. And so when we are lawless, meaning, I, in other words, mm. because the fear is everywhere and fear is in my heart, I start to fight with my wife. I start to be angry with my children. It's because of the the, the fear in my heart that I'm not able to love my, my neighbor. Exactly. And God wants you to be set free from fear because yeah. fear is the key uh, 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 that the devil is using. And love is the key God is using. So the, the only way to overcome fear is not by faith. It is by love. Yeah. Because it says perfect love casts That's out fear. fear. So we, if you are full of fear, you're not perfected, matured in love. That's and right. so God wants to set you free. Okay, so, so it he says because of lawlessness, the love of many will grow cold. Okay, so Miriam wants to share. No, there's Daniel, yeah. verse 15. Yeah, we're getting to, da yeah, we're getting to verse 15. But he endures well, to the end shall be, yeah, she's just, <laughs> Daniel's now. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. What does that mean? Are you going to endure to the end? Yeah. Listen to this. So people say, um, you can't lose your salvation. Mm, what is this? He who endures <laughs> to the end will, shall be saved. What is that? Endures what? The tribulation. The tribulations are coming on the earth. Okay? So at the end of the day, yeah. we need to know that we are going to go through difficulties. Yeah. Hallelujah. And, and, and at the end of the day, he says, yeah. he who endures to the end shall be saved. Yeah. Okay? He didn't say they're going to escape. I'm not even going into the whole thing with the rapture. So if you want to know about the rapture, I can send you some videos on that and you might get a shock. But at the end of the day, it's better to prepare for something that, that doesn't happen than to prepare and not, it's not going to happen. Some people are counting on the rapture bus to take them out. And what happens if it doesn't arrive mm. and you're sitting in the mm. tribulation mm. and you say, well, my doctrine said I, the rapture was coming. I was going to escape this. Yeah. And meanwhile, you're yeah. in the tribulation. Yeah. So I'd rather yeah. prepare for it. And Jesus comes. So if Jesus comes right now. I'm, I'm, I'm with him. I'm with him. I mean, look, I'm not going to awesome. argue. I'm not going to say, excuse me, aren't you going to come in seven years? To, ah, no, no discussion. <laughs> I'm out of there. Yeah. But if I know that tribulation is coming, how do I prepare? And so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to. I'm not going to the mountains with baked bean cans and and whatever. I, I prepare. I got to prepare my family. I got to mm -hmm. prepare financially. I got to prepare my mind, my spirit, my body. Yeah. And I say, okay, Lord, if we're going to go through tribulation, you're going to be with us. And He says, those who endure to the end shall be saved. Yeah. You never said, oh, that, 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 there's a, a select group that will be escaping. Okay, so Matthew 24 talks about the end times, and it talks about tribulation, it talks about suffering, it talks about persecution. The word endure means suffer. <laughs> okay, so it says suffer till the end. Okay, so God says we must have long suffering. Yeah. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and the end will come. Therefore, when you see, yes, yes Miriam's verse, the abomination of desolation, spoken of Daniel by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place whoever reads let him understand okay so we're not going to go into end time th theological teaching right now and what is the abomination of desolation but all we know is where we are right now your preparation is not to know you know the book of revelation and, and mm -hmm. as far as to know where we are and everything like that. you need to read it you don't understand it but you don't because everyone's got their uh, kind of their own understanding and then yeah. there's, then there's God's understanding I prefer his one so at the end of the day yeah so, so <laughs> <laughs> I read this somebody posted this on their status but um <laughs> uh, he was asked you know where in the book of Revelation are we and he, and he just said well you know it depends when you started reading it and then how, how fast, fast you read <laughs> <laughs> Depends how fast you read the book. Brilliant, because uh, uh, it, it, uh, the book of Revelation is not a timeline. It's, yeah, we know. have to discern but by anyway. the Spirit, and the Lord yeah. is opening up the scrolls of the book of Revelation. So mm. I believe it's important, but yes. the even more important to know where we are in the book of Revelation. The question is, where are you? Yes. Where are you with your exactly. faith? In other words, do you have peace now? Do you have faith now? Do you have love, joy? Do you love everyone? Do you have any offenses? We got to clean the house. No. So, so the Lord is giving us 21 days to get our house in order. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we got to get our house in order. We got yes. to get our house in order. We got to make sure we're loving each other. Mm. We got to make sure I'm filled with love because if I'm not filled with love, I'm going to be filled with fear. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. So, yeah. so the Lord wants to deliver yeah. us from the fear. Yeah. So, um, so let's just go to the, the scripture. And, and so that is the warning now. Yeah. When fear comes, all right, it grabs you and deceives you. He says, do not let anyone deceive you. The deception on earth today is through the spirit of fear. Yeah. So don't have to worry about the false prophets. If you're not being deceived by them, you could be deceived by the spirit of fear. 
So you could be so worried about being deceived by false prophets, you, you, you're afraid because fear is a deception. Yeah. I've seen people so, so worried about everything. This is false. This is false. And say, you're fo focusing on the false. Mm. And it, mm. meanwhile, the person is afraid of being deceived. So you're already deceived. So the Lord doesn't want you to be afraid and of, if you want to of being the, deceived. The truth, then study the truth, not the false. Yeah, St focus on the truth, <laughs> and the truth. then you won't accept the false. Yeah. But if you focus on the false and trying to expose every little false thing, there's thousands of false things. Mm. You don't have the time to do it. But if you are acquainted with the truth, and Jesus is the truth, yeah. If you are acquainted with yeah, the truth, the you will discern is, the false. It's like it's not. Yeah. It's, look, it's contrary to the the Bible. You understand? Mm. And so the problem is, when we are deceived, we don't realize we are deceived, yeah. because that's the nature of deception. You understand, you don't walk around in the morning and say, I, I, today I need a bit of deception. Okay, all right, I'm deceived, but you're not deceived. And it's like, we're all deceived. Mm. Yeah, we are. We are all deceived to the degree. And you say, I'm not deceived. I'm glad you said that. So I'll just give you the answer that Jesus gave to, to Rick Joyner in the final <laughs> question. He said, you're all deceived to the degree that you do, do not understand things the way I do. Yeah. I said, okay, I'm deceived. <laughs> I cannot claim that I know yeah. everything and understand yeah. everything that Jesus understands. We all have so that area of yeah. darkness is deception. Yeah. You understand? I've got opinions. Now, God is not interested in your opinion. <laughs> Truth is what sets you free, not mm. opinion. So your, your, right. your, your opinion can be, can be correct or incorrect. But he wants us to focus on the truth, not opinions. So we don't want to argue with anyone about the opinions. We just say, mm. what does the Word of God say? Show us what the Word of God And we don't want our own interpretation of the word of god okay so so um let's go there so let's go to 2 timothy 1 and this is the scripture and uh, it looks like i'm just going to be focusing on overcoming fear i don't even know if i'm going to get but this is the root of the issue with the finances yeah so we, we before we can actually go into finances we're going to say what is the root issue the root here is 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 fear the the real strong man here that we're dealing with in the nations is fear and that's what jesus showed us the 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 deceiver yeah. at the end is called fear Okay, and there's a thousand and one fears. Okay, so the, you must know there's a principality of fear. Every demon is full of fear. The devil's full of fear. They deceive through fear. And God's angels are full of love. Yep. God is full of love. He is love. Yep. He wants us to be full of love. So we've got the fear and we've got love. And we must know mm -hmm. this is the end time battle between love and fear. Yep. Okay, and obviously inside of love, faith works by love. And love believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. So in, I include faith inside you. But love contains faith. Hallelujah. So if you know that you are, you are mature in, in love, you're going to be mature in faith. But you can have faith to move mountains and still not be mature in love. Yeah. But if you, have, if you have love and you're mature in it, you're going to have faith to move mountains. You got it? That's why it says faith. Hope and love in 1 Corinthians 13. But the greatest of these is love. But in the definition of love, of love he says that uh, love believes all things. Mm. So there is faith right inside there. And it also says faith works by love. So we need to understand that we need to have the, the fullness of his love in our lives to be able to expel the, 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 the darkness of fear. And fear is deception. And fear is a liar. Fear is a demon. You understand that? It's not just a thought. It's a demon. Okay, I, I can prove it to you now. That's a demon. Some of you don't understand that it's a demon, and yet you need to be delivered. But it's, uh, it's, 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 it's very important to understand that you need to be delivered from fear, yeah. um, because otherwise you won't be delivered from fear. Okay, mm. so I'm in the wrong book. It's first, Second Timothy. Okay, Second Timothy 1.7. Okay, and it says here, For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Okay? Mm. But of power and of love and of a sound, sound mind. mind. Do you understand? It says here, God has not given us a spirit. Let's just stop there. God has not given you a spirit. That's the same word spirit for your spirit. That's okay, word, for, a, for, a, for an unclean day. spirit, a spirit. That's a, the word pneuma. Pneuma. Yeah. That word it means spirit. So God says, I have not given you a spirit. So therefore, a fear is a spirit. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Is it a holy spirit or an mm. unholy spirit? Okay. Yeah. It's an unholy spirit. So fear is not from God. He says here, spirit of fear, but of power. So God says, I've given you a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. You understand that? And that's, that, that, um, Miriam's got some notes here and she's talking about, the, it gives us, 
what the dunamis, the agape, the soundness of the adoption, the tranquility, the security, the harmony. That is that is what he wants to do in your spirit. That's he wants to exchange again. He wants to exchange. It's our spirit for that his fear, spirit. and yeah. we say, Lord, we receive your spirit, mm. but it's the spirit of love. Okay, so you must know, perfect love casts out fear. So, so let's let's go to that. I must just get my Bible mm. over here. So we're going to go there, and we're going to look up that scripture, um, that scripture reference now, because that is the ultimate scripture. That we, we, when we're going to get delivered. I'll find it. Uh, perfect. One John two eighteen. Okay, so, so basically he says here, this is so important. So let's turn in the Bibles to 1 John, chapter 4, verse 18. It says here, there is no fear in love. Okay, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. So he says there's no fear in love. So in other words, you can't have a demon in this, in this, in this, in this place. But actually when, so if there's no fear in love, Okay, so, so sorry, there, there's no fear in love. There, you can reverse that. You can say there's no love in fear. Yeah. So if you have They're fear, opposites, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like you cannot mix them. Yeah. You either got fear or you got love. The moment you have fear, yeah. you've had to let go of love. And Jesus is love. You mm -hmm. let go. Now, he never leaves you, never forsakes you. Yeah. But, he, but you leave him. Yeah. So basically what happens yeah. is when you step into fear, you have to step away from his perfect love. Yeah. You go into fear, into your little corner. Jesus is there. You've stepped away from him. He never left you. And now you're sitting with your fear of the month end and the finances and you can't pay your rent and you can't do this and you can't do this. Yeah. Okay. So what do you do when you find out you're in fear? First thing you've got to understand is that 365 times or more in the Bible, God says, fear not. So mm. the question is, is fear a sin? Well, if God gives you a commandment and you do the opposite commandment, it's sin, right? What is a sin? It's something doing doing something God says you mustn't do. God says do not fear. So God when, says don't do something and we do it. That's actually rebellion. Yeah. So if you're in fear and he says don't fear, you're in rebellion. Yeah. Okay. So today we need to actually confess the sin of fear, anxiety, and stress. Yeah. Those three. And these are the things that are going to keep you poor. They're going to keep you broke. They're going to keep finances away from you because mm. the enemy is blocking your finances because yeah. you're in agreement with fear. Mm. Okay, yeah. so you can't justify your fear. You have mm. to just repent. You just got to say, Lord, I'm in fear over my finances. I'm in fear over my health. I'm in fear now mm. over the government coming to my house. I don't want to take, be forced to take the vaccine. Whatever your fear is, this is why the Lord said every day, surrender. Surrender, surrender what? Yeah. Lay aside. Lay aside. Lay aside. Lay aside. So we need to be perfected in love. So, yeah. but the, you can't be perfected in love if you're holding on to fear. That's right. All yeah. right. So, so. We don't want Jesus from a distance. We want him right inside and we want to abide. He says, abide in his word, abide in his love. Yeah. So how do we do that? We surrender the fear. We yeah. confess the fear, which we're going to do now. Yeah. And we're going to yeah. say, Lord, I'm, af I'm afraid. And then you're going to say, Lord, now fill mm -hmm. me with your love. Because it says, perfect love casts out. out fear. Now, the word cast out yeah. is connected with demons. Okay. Yeah. So that basically means, I'm not saying there's a demon in your spirit. There's a demon on your soul, in your soul, in your emotions that's attached to mm. you. It's there. And all you have to do is confess it. And you, the Bible says to get delivered, it's quite easy. I, I teach, we teach people self-deliverance. It's quite simple. It's, it's James 4, 7 that says, submit to God. This is, this is submitting. We're on submission now. Step one, submit to God. Yeah. Resist the devil. And number three, He'll flee. he will flee. Okay, so all you have to do is submit and resist, and he will flee. The first part is where we go wrong, because a lot of people don't confess the sin exactly. of fear. Yeah. If you get up at night and you're afraid, confess yeah. your sin. You Say, Lord, repent. I'm sorry for being yeah. afraid. I repent now. If yeah. you're afraid of losing your business, or if you're afraid you can't pay your expenses, if you're afraid, Well, it's like those hands of fear it. again, like we spoke yeah. about, um, I don't know if it was yesterday or the That's day it. before. The same way that we can hold our children with hands of fear, we can do that with our businesses and everything else that concerns us. If we are holding it with hands of fear and we have not repented of that fear. That, well, that, that ties on. Uh, that's yeah. something that an awesome revelation Miriam had was actually the, the gates of finances, yeah. uh, the gates of provision, and yeah. that we actually the ones shutting the gates and the Lord's outside trying to give you finances. The, the sin in us employs those demons that are shutting the gates. And we are working. And we actually have employed demons to protect our finances. 
by th through worry, stress, fear, and because, strife in your family. Yeah. And so the, the, that's on our website as well. It's called the Gates yeah. of Provision. You can look it up, and maybe Dominique can put the link in there. Very mm. important revelation when it comes to finances. Mm. Um, so, so yeah, yeah. If, if, we, if we look at this, uh, the scripture, that is uh, 1 John 4, um, 18. It says there, there is no, okay, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Because... Because fear involves torment. So we have been tormented yeah. over not having enough. And the Lord has already said, I look after the birds. Will I not look after you? Yeah. I don't care how God has to get the money to you. Don't try and work mm. it out how he's going to get it to you. Just say, Lord, I trust you and I thank you, Lord. But you need to go through our teachings mm. on finances. We've got a lot of teachings. I can't give it to you all now in five minutes or an hour. It's, it's, it's impossible. Mm, but so you need to go stuff. through that because he's given us stuff. So start going through uh, on the kingdom business. Go through the teachings. Mm. Mm. Um, so it says here. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. The word perfect means mature. mature. And so the Lord yeah. wants to perfect you, all right? And that he wants to mature you and he wants to complete you, all right? So it, it, it basically means to bring to the end and the goal, the purpose. To he consecrate. wants to, 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 to consecrate you. And the important thing now is that God's yeah. perfect love casts out fear. That's, that's not, he didn't say love. He says perfect love, mature love. Mm -hmm. So if you're mature in love, you... The love in you will cast mm -hmm. out that fear and That's you will right. not fear. So anyone that is afraid is yeah. not perfected in love. Yeah. And normally when people are afraid, they will, they will attack you or they will run away from you. Yeah, where there's fear, there will soon fear, be strife. There will be strife like this. Yeah. Okay, so then you must know there will be flights, uh, fights yeah. in your house. There will be strife. And, and we've, we've practiced this. So we, know. we know this. We, we've had the fights. We've done it. I mean, <laughs> we know. I'm we, saying I mean, this because I know look, it. Look, <laughs> we've, we've made all the mistakes. So we're yeah. talking from a place we know yeah. this thing. We know how to do it wrong. Yeah. And so that's why we're telling you, look, at this is how you do it wrong. Don't do it wrong. <laughs> Don't do it wrong. Do it right. Yeah. Get delivered from fear. So we're going to get delivered from fear now. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, um, and there's all kinds of fears. Fear of health issues, fear Sunday. of corona. Fear, now. Literally yeah. a thousand, could be 2,000 different kinds of fears. Fear of heights, fear of snakes. Mm. Fear of, all of those fears are unholy. Every fear, including the fear, yeah. fear of snakes. Because the mm. Lord says, st step on them. So whether the, it's, uh, you mustn't be afraid of a physical snake because mm. that's a fear. Fear yeah. of spiders. Are you afraid of spiders? Repent for that. Mm. Some people think they're allowed to be afraid from uh, spiders. I'd say no, no fear. Mm. Okay, do you think Jesus was afraid of spiders? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> well, I know he was. Yeah, He's perfect love. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that's a holy fear? Oh, yeah, yeah you can be afraid of spiders, you know. Exactly. So, so there's no fear. Yeah. There is no fear. He's not afraid of heights. He wasn't afraid of heights. Mm -mm. <laughs> so you got it? So any fear in your life is darkness. Yeah. And we want to get rid of all darkness. Okay. We've got to rise, shine, and we've got so to we've name got to lay it. down those darkness. <laughs> yeah, we've got, to, we've got to name it. Yeah. And then we can move on to now God's providing. Because if you've got fear, yeah. God's provision is blocked. Mm. You got it? That's true. Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay. I see she's put the link there. So really okay, thanks, Dominique. Yeah, go to that link. The gates of provision is in there. Yeah. You go and, go, and, go and click on that link. So, so Father, we yeah. come to you now in Jesus' name. And we humble ourselves. And we just say, Lord, we, we want to repent. We want to repent. Mm. from a health point of view for being afraid lord of, of mm. let's say getting sick or people coming to our house and and having an I issue with the police and trying to force us to take uh, vaccines or mm. to take tests we want we don't want them to put anything in our bodies lord so we just want to repent for any fear concerning yeah. what's going to happen over this next week or two weeks mm. concerning what the government action is going to be concerning mm. the economy lord we want to repent for being afraid of the, of the economy collapsing and not knowing how do we going to get income, how are we going to get food. Lord, we just repent for that now in Jesus' yeah. name. Yeah. Lord, we repent as well, Lord, for worrying about our finances, for our businesses, for paying our staff, for paying the rent, mm. for paying everything we need to pay. Mm. We repent for being in worry and stress about our businesses, about the finances, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, as husbands, we want to say we're sorry, Lord, because we look at ourselves as provider, but you are our provider. Yeah. Father, we repent, Lord, for, for doing things in fear. And we ask you now to deliver us. Ah, deliver us from fear in Jesus' name. Yeah. Lord yeah. Jesus, come and deliver me from fear. Every so kind of fear, I ask you to fill me now with your perfect love. Just yes. ask him now, right now, to fill me with your yes. perfect love. Just receive his love. Say, thank you, Lord, you love me. I trust in you, Daddy, that you will provide for me. Yes. And I now resist 
Mm. In the name of Jesus and in the name mm. of love, mm. I cast out, perfect love cast out fear. Yes. I cast out all fear now. Get out of my life. Get yes. out of my body. Get out of my, my, my soul. Get out of my house. Yes. Get out now in Jesus and get off my children. Now I command all fear to get out of this property now yes. in Jesus' name. And I declare and decree, Corona is not going to intimidate me. I will Amen. not be intimidated in Amen. Jesus' name. Mm. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just let him touch you now. Lord, we thank yeah. you that you just fill us with your fire. Yes, and Lord. I thank you, Lord, that we will not be afraid of fear. And I mm. thank you, Lord, that you're teaching us to trust you concerning finances Amen. and concerning divine health. And we thank you, Lord, that this is, this is the greatest time to be alive. Amen. And we thank you that you never leave us. You never forsake us. And we yes. thank you that you love us today. Yes. I thank you for your fire on every home right now. Yes, just receive Lord. fire right now. Yes. Fire. Fire, fire, yeah. fire, fire. Right now, Thank Lord, you, Lord, just say, Lord, fill my house with your fire. Yes. Remember, his fire is his perfect love. Mm. His fire is covering you right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There, there we go. Dominique, she said she, she had a vision. She sees, um, sees Jesus coming with a sword and cutting through us. Amen cutting through us and delivering us. That's his word, yeah. This was a fire sword. We thank you right now in mm. Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We receive it now. Yeah. Thank you for delivering us right now from all our fears. Yes. Just take a deep breath. Just breathe in. Just think of the witnesses. They, they, they taking a deep breath. Yeah. Take no, a deep breath. Dream, though, it was so close that it's almost as though you can hear them breathing. <laughs> they are so that on the edge watching dream. us now. So yeah. let's get encouraged again with that starting word. Yeah. He says, awake. Yeah. We are now waking up. Because if we if we are dangerously if, awake, if we have got fear, we are not awake. We're still yeah. asleep because fear puts you to sleep spiritually. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah! It, does, yeah. it puts you to sleep yeah. spiritually. You think sleep, you're a little slumber. Yeah. yeah, you think you're awake, but you're not yeah. because you're in fear. You're awake when you're in perfect love. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah! Like that. That's good. Awake, awake, O sleeper. Yes. Arise, 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 arise and shine. shine. The love of Jesus may fill you now with the love yes. of Jesus. Hello, Veronica. Yes, full Veronica's Amen. house. Hallelujah! There. Yes. Hallelujah! In Vista, with the love of God. Hallelujah. Yes. We, we bless her now. We bless her family. We bless mm -hmm. every one of you now in Jesus' name. Yes. We thank you. I, I just pray a blessing upon your businesses, yes. upon yes. your finances Amen. right now. Yes. We thank you, Lord. In Matthew 6, Lord, you mm -hmm. said you're going to look after the birds. You're yeah. looking after the birds. You look after us. Amen. In Philippians 4.19, he says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his, his riches, riches in glory. Yes. So what's the problem? He yeah. says he's going to supply. Yeah. The question is, do you believe? And if you don't believe, there's another sin. There's a ma major, major, major sin is unbelief. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's a major thing. Let's just talk about that tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah, tomorrow we can do unbelief. But, unbelief. but, mm -hmm. but we, need to, we need to tackle these one at a time. But we're tackling mm -hmm. our fear. And mm -hmm. I believe now the Lord is actually just delivering you from fear. So we just breathe. Breathe. The Lord, just breathe in. Mm -hmm. And I thank you as, as we breathe. Breathe in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Just breathe in heaven. This is breathe a weapon. In heaven. Hallelujah. God, God showed Miriam the it's weapon. It's a weapon. It's a weapon of breathing in heaven. Um, one day we were praying in the lounge and, and um, I saw an angel and, and, and they asked me, <laughs> do you want to know some more about the powers of the age to come? And we need I'm, those powers. I'm now. like, yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Now <laughs> I, we need. I want to know. And that's one of the things that that angel showed me is um, breathing in heaven. Is the, uh, heaven is, is um, its substance. Obviously, yeah. it's Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> it's we him. Yeah. But we're breathing in of him and we're breathing out. And the breathing out is the picture again of yes. surrender and yes. laying it down. So we breathe out and so we that we can breathe in the substance. Uh, we breathe heaven. in heaven and we breathe out praises. Yeah. And we breathe yes. out thanksgiving and praise. So just yes. go through the day and say, thank yeah. you, Lord, that you're providing. And also go yeah. through the proclamations of, 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 about your, your healing as well. We got it mm. on the... Um, on the, on the on the link there, okay. The Dominic will put the links for the, to the daily proclamations, and don't forget on uh, third. What's today? Tuesday. It is Wednesday today. It's Wednesday. Okay, so it's Wednesday today. So tomorrow night is the healing rooms. So don't forget tomorrow night. We're going to still do this in the morning, ten ten. We're going to yes. do ten ten tomorrow. L more abundance, victorious abundance for you tomorrow at ten ten, and then again at night at what Hopper Seven yes. healing rooms. Also, but that'll be from the lounge. Yes. <laughs> And uh, we're, do God's doing anything. miracles there. God is, uh, God's really doing miracles. So just come on board. Anyone that is sick, God's going to, uh, God's going to release healing over them. We thank you, Lord, for that now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. The Amen. Lord has overcome all our problems and he's overcome sickness and disease and poverty. Amen. And he loves you and we love you. Yeah. Elizabeth is sharing me. Yeah. The Lord, yeah. In 94, the Lord said you cannot go forward till you overcome fear that's it that's it 
fear yeah. has to be overcome. Yeah. So we bless you. Yeah. Love you. Bless you guys. Hallelujah. Shalom. <laughs> Thanks Shalom. for watching.